Okie dokie. Well, I decided to go ahead and go to the book of John in this new Bible I bought. And it's kind of funny because I'm going through to make sure it says the same things that my old Bible does. And uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and start reading from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. Sorry about the wiggling. We'll get this better situated. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. John 1, verse 11, He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, as we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bears witness of him and cried, saying, This was he whom I spoke. He that comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received. And grace for grace. For the law was given to Moses by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? He confessed and denied it not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Are you Elias? And he said, I am not. Are you that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who are you, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest you of yourself? And he said, I am a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, has said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why do you baptize then, if you be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? Well, John said to them, saying, I baptize with water, but there stands one among you whom you know not. He it is, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I'm not worthy to untie. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and says, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I have said. After me comes a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, 
the same said unto me, Upon whom you shall see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw, and I bear record that this is the Son of God. Again the next day after John stood and two of his disciples and looking upon Jesus and he walked as he walked he said behold the Lamb of God and the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus and then Jesus turned and saw them following and said unto them what are you looking for and they said rabbi which is to be interpreted master where are you dwelling and he said unto them come and see so they came and they saw where he dwelt and abode with him that day, for it was about a tenth hour. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first finds his own brother Simon and says unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. The day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find Philip, and say unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was at Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter, and Philip finds Nathanael and says to him, Hey, we found him of whom Moses wrote in the law, and the prophets did write Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, ben Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, and he said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said unto him, How do you know me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto you, I saw you under the fig tree, you believe? Now shall you see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man.